Today, we're going to talk about five easy ways to heal your mind after a tough week. Some weeks are harder than others, and your normal practices just aren't enough. So, here are some extra ways to heal your mind when normal practices just aren't enough. The first is to take a look at the theory of Maslow's hierarchy of needs. The basic premise is that everyone wants to be the best version of themselves that they can. But this self actualization can't be realized until more basic needs are met. This concept is a pyramid, with basic needs being at the bottom as your foundation. These include food, water, breathing, and the homostasis of the body. So, before you can feel your best, you first need to make sure you've had proper food, rest, and water. Even good temperature and blood sugar need to be focused on before continuing. So, after a tough week, make sure you have enough sleep, a good meal, and plenty of fluids. You will be surprised how that alone can change your mindset. The second way to heal your mind is to write a gratitude list. By listing the things and people you are grateful for, you can further boost the positive thinking mindset that you've been working on. Try for a minimum of five things on stressful days and take it seriously. It may be hard at the moment to find something positive. But if you sit and put effort into it, you can find things you're grateful for. The third practice is to take quiet time. This is something you're already doing, but in busy weeks, this can slip to the bottom. When everything needs to be done right now, and you have a job, pets, and people all needing your attention right now, that quiet time can seem like a future dream. After a particularly tough week, make sure you take time to yourself. Go on a long walk by yourself and find a quiet, peaceful place to sit. Leave your phone behind and find a peaceful place to read a good book. Meditate or practice yoga. If you have a physical job, try to take some time to rest and relax. But if you sit in an office all day, stretch your muscles while enjoying your quiet time. The fourth suggestion is to find a support group. An official support group with weekly meetings is great, but it's not for everyone. Just having a few close friends that you can share your bad days with and they can help provide support is so important. Even just a group that lets your mind take a break from daily struggles is great, such as a book club or a church group. Finally, the fifth easy way to heal your mind after a tough week is to do nothing. Often we feel that even on our off days, we need to be productive. If we aren't at work, we need to be cleaning, learning, or doing something for a side business. We never really get a break unless we plan for it. If you want to lay in bed and not move, do it. If you want to mindlessly scroll through social media or play some silly game on your phone, spend some time doing that. Allow your mind to shut off and just do nothing for a while. Often, when overwhelmed, you'll find yourself doing mindless tasks and later dwelling guilt for doing them. Instead, schedule a time to do these tasks so that way you won't feel guilty later and your brain can take a break. It needs it as much as your body does. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.